Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, where you can see great games played badly. I'm John, and this is Satisfactory. Now, last episode we managed to get our first little production line set up. Uh, we're mining iron ore, we're smelting it into ingots, and we are turning those ingots into um, iron rods, I believe. Yes, there we are. Now, some of you who have played this game before may be screaming at me that this is hideously inefficient. And it is, if we have a look. This is producing 60 iron ore per minute. Okay, so the output here is 60. Uh, I think on these conveyor belts they can only transfer 60 resources per minute anyway. Uh, yeah. So that's fine. But the smelter here that can only process 30 per minute. Um, so it brings in 30 iron ore out of the 60 we're producing uh, and produces 30 iron ingots, as we can see. And our constructor here takes in 15 of those iron ingots per minute and produces iron rods. Or it would do if it wasn't full. So we are losing efficiency at both stages of our production line. So, we can do something about this. If I have a look at our hub, we can unlock logistics, which gives us conveyor splitters and conveyor mergers and um, Mark 1 lifts uh, and a productivity display. But these are what we're interested in primarily, the mergers and the splitters. The splitter, we can take in uh, three different feeds and put it out on one line. Um, sorry, uh, we take three different feeds. No, we take. Oh, good lord! Let me try. That. Let me explain that again in English this time. So, with the splitter, you take one feed and split it into three outgoing leads. With the merger, you take three inputs and convert it into one output. See, that wasn't difficult, was it? Um, but we are going to actually select this as our milestone. We can give it everything it wants except for the steel plates. We need uh, a bunch more steel plates. Okay, well, in which case, what we can do is switch this over to producing iron plates, which will actually speed things up because that uses 30 um, per minute. So we'll see that is now a bit more uh, efficient. That'll be a hundred percent efficiency now because it will be taking in everything that the smelter is producing and turning it into iron plates for us. Um, obviously this is still running at 50 percent efficiency until we get a splitter uh, and set up a second um, smelter to deal with that. So whilst we're waiting for that, what I have done, uh, you'll be able to see, I have spent the night collecting as many leaves and bits of wood as I can and converting it all into biomass for our burners because what we want to do is I think set up another production line for concrete so if I come across to our uh, limestone deposit here and uh, take out all the limestone there I'll pick up the miner and let's see if we can actually set up um, a route here. We'll. Oh dear, this isn't good. Um, well, we'll face it that way anyway. Now, what we need to do with this is feed it straight into a constructor, I believe. Let me just go and uh, double check that. Because it doesn't need smelting, it just needs converting straight into concrete. So let me just... Yeah. Okay, so we can feed that straight into a constructor. Can I build a constructor? Uh, I need two iron plates. Yeah. Uh, two reinforced iron plates for which I need screws. Uh, Twelve for each, I think. There we go. And we'll build two iron plates. And now... Ooh, get stuck on a box. We should, in theory, be able to set up uh, a constructor here. Um, 
genuinely can't see if that's in line or not. That's probably in line about there. We'll give it some space so it can uh, drop down. Um, and we'll lay in a conveyor belt, hopefully, straight in. That's pretty straight. I'm quite impressed with that. Okay, so you need to make concrete. And we need to bring in some power. What do I need for power? I need concrete. Typical. Um, let's go and make some concrete then. See, once all these production lines are set up, at least I won't have to run around and make everything myself. Okay, we have a bunch of uh, limestone, so we'll just make a bunch of concrete. And we've made a bunch of concrete. Okay, so, power lines. No, that's the wrong button. There we go. Um, actually, we want to change this slightly. So, I'm going to put a power line here. I am going to delete that power line. I'm going to connect that to that, and then that to that. Okay, and we will run across here. We'll put another one in there. Uh, another one in there. And another one in there. Okay. Now, we will connect these up. The reason I've put in uh, two along here, rather than just spreading it right the way across, is as you can see, we've got two more um, iron deposits here. So having a lot of power connections nearby will be useful for when we want to uh, set up miners on here. Uh, assuming that I don't redesign this whole thing. Which is a possibility. Because it is already very, very messy. Now, you should be producing limestone. Are you producing limestone? Uh, 30 a minute. Okay, where is it? There we are. We've got limestone coming out now. Uh, and you can... Oh, you can do 45 a minute, so you're not going to be operating at full efficiency. Uh, it's because we have an impure node, that's why. But that's okay. That's just going to sit there and chunter away and produce us some uh, concrete. Uh, now, how many metal plates do we need? We need 150. Do we have that many yet? Oh, one of our power grids has shut down. What's run out of uh, fuel? You're okay for fuel. You're okay for fuel. Okay, are we... Have we too much on this line, then? We need copper wire to make another biomass burner. So, let's do that. Okay, that'll do. Now, building another biomass burner. Hmm, where do I want to put that? It's going to have to be near to here, so we'll put it in... I suppose just next to it here. Uh, we'll turn it around so it's at least lined up. And again, we are going to probably move all of this at some point. That'll do. Um, let's connect it to that one. Uh, yeah, we are going to probably um, demolish all of this at some point. Okay, is everything running now? So, maximum consumption 22. Oh, that'll be why. We didn't need to build another one, did we? Good lord. I am uh, an idiot. There we go. Still. Yeah, we now have a capacity of 70. Uh, and we're only using 22, because we only, we only had one connected up. Ugh. Oh, well, it will be useful in the future. Right, now, what was I doing? Oh, yes, metal plates. Uh, 118, that gives us 141. We still need nine more. That shouldn't take long. Okay. Actually, do I have any? I can make a few more here. There we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That'll do. And now... 
Ooh, launch pod. Okay, let's launch pod. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now Ooh. merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. Thanks, Ada. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Thanks. Anything else? No? Good. Right, well, that's what that thing was for. So now we can make conveyor splitters, which means we can pop one in here. Uh, let's turn this off for a moment and think about what we're going to do. So if we want another splitter, it's going to come into another uh, smelter, so we can put that pretty much next to that one, can't we? Or do I use this? No, 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 come on. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put in a splitter. Um, we are going to look at our next milestone, which is going to be base building. Yes, that's what it's going to be. Um, actually. Come on. Uh, I thought it selected that milestone. I did, but I can't do anything until the pod gets back. Okay, fine. Now, what do we need to build? Mergers. Uh, metal plates and... Uh, merges is metal plates and uh, iron plates and rods, iron plates and cable. Uh, we have some iron, uh, some copper, so we can make some more cables because we'll need those for for power as well. That'll do, and we'll make some uh, more iron plates because we'll need those for conveyor belts. Okay, that'll do. Um, what do we need for a smelter? We need copper wire. Okay, that should be enough. Right. Now, in theory, once this is turned off... Oh, it is turned off. It's just got to empty itself of all of the uh, iron ore in there. So we'll give it a, a, a minute. Okay, that has finally emptied out. Uh, I did help it a little bit. Oh, our pod's coming back as well. Hello, pod. Right. Now, we will dismantle this. I think. Or do we... Hmm. Okay, I want to try something. So, we'll put that back in, and then we want to put in uh, a splitter. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it, freighter re-entry complete. Thanks, Ada. Okay, and we can put the splitter straight on there. Right, now we want to build... No, we want to build another smelter. And we want to put it pretty much right next to that one. That's going to be the easiest way of doing it. Um, now I want to build... to... Ooh, I suppose about there. Um... Why will this not connect? Why is this not connecting? I do not understand. Um. Alright, well let's bring it out a little bit this way. And swing it around. No. Um, okay, come on, select that. Why will it not connect? Okay, give me five minutes and I'll try and figure this out. Okay, so I finally figured out why I was being an idiot. Yes, I had the smelter back to front and I was trying to... Put an input line into an output hole, which is never going to work, let's be honest. Um, okay, now this is producing uh, 30 iron ingots per minute. Um, so what we can do is if we bring uh, bring it out this way a bit, I think. 
No, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's do this sensibly. We will put in another constructor. Once I've made some more reinforced iron plates. Oh, it's never ending. Oop, that just completely miss it. Right, reinforced iron plates, I need screws. Okay, there's a bunch of iron plates made. Now, let's put in... Because we'll want two constructors here. So let's put them in. Now, make, that is an input line, isn't it? That is definitely an input line. That is. Okay. So, oh, good lord. So we'll put one... That seems to be about in line. So we'll put one there. And we'll put one there. Uh, we will bring our power lines out. We don't have enough copper. Right, I'm going to have to go and run and get some copper now. Oh, We're going to need to automate the copper line as well at some point. All the way up the hill. Uh oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. Hello, come to steal your copper. Thank you. Oops. And all the way back. Now, obviously, we are going to want to, as I say, automate that copper production up there and start having it producing uh, wires and cables. Um, I, will, I will now continue to... Uh, construct by hand all the things we need to construct. So that will be uh, wires, cables, um, we should be alright for iron rods and iron plates at the moment. We might need a couple more iron uh, reinforced iron plates, so I'll make a few of those. Uh, but then I'll come back. I have made all of our copper into ingots, all of those ingots into wire, and some of that wire into cables. Uh, I've also made all of the uh, iron ore that we were carrying around into ingots and made all of that into uh, plates and a couple more um, reinforced iron plates. So we should be good. Now, over here then, let's connect that up and then we will pop in, no, where are we, uh, a splitter. If I can get it to connect to that line at all. No, I cannot. Okay, right. Let's try that again. So we want the splitter in line with that. How in line was that? That wasn't too bad. Okay, now we should be able to connect that up to that. Bring this out a little bit, and then connect that up to there. Okay, now, uh, where's our power lines? We need to connect you to you, and we're going to put another one up there, and we'll connect you to you, you to you, and you to you. Now, you are going to make iron rods. You are going to make iron rods. Now, we have 30 coming in, 30 going out. We have 15 going in, 15 going out. 15 going in, 15 going out. So this bit is running at 100% efficiency. This side, what have we got? 30 going in, 30 going out. Here we have 30 coming in and 20 coming out. Which isn't 100%, but it's close enough for me. Right. Now let us fill up our burners, just to make sure we've got plenty of power. Uh, we're still well below the capacity. Um, come on fill up. There we go. Now, we need 200 concrete, which we should be able to get from the constructor up here. But since we're going up here, I'm going to build 
Where are we? There we go. You're the wrong way around. I'm going to build... Oh, come on. I am going to build... a storage container. So we can just dump all the concrete into there. But I will grab what's in there to start with. Uh, in fact, let's chuck what limestone I've got in there. Now, uh, that's 200 concrete we've got, at least. We need 100 metal plates, which we should have, and 100 iron rods, which we should have. So, concrete, iron plates, iron rods. Launch the pod. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure and improved overview. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. There we go. We now have access to foundations and walls. Very useful. Now, that does mean, of course, that we are going to need to redesign everything. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay, what is our next milestone? What are we looking at? Field research. Uh, copper wire, screws. Right. Copper wire. Hmm. We're going to need to automate up there. That's what we're going to need to do. Let me... Yep. Let's build a portable miner. We don't need to, but we're going we're going to. Uh let's grab some we're okay for metal plates. Let's grab some iron rods. Uh what I'll need to do is put a storage bin out the back here as well and uh connect these two up. Can I do that now? Should I do that now? I might as well do that now. Right. Uh, that way around. We want it lined up. There we go. And we want it in line with that one. There we go. That'll do. Now, we want a... Let's see if we can do this with the old... Have it constructed first and then... Pop it on there. Is it going to let us? It doesn't look like it's going to let us, does it? Okay, okay, well, we'll do this the hard way then. So we want a merger. Um, yeah, we want it going that way. We want to connect that. To there, we want to connect that to there. We want to bring this out just a little bit and put it in there. Yep, that's all working. Right, now, what else do I need? I need more... Oop, come on. I'll need more rods. I've got cables, I've got wire. I've got plates, I've got concrete. Okay, I think I'll grab handful of those. That should be fine. And let's go and automate this as best we can. And then we shall end the episode, I think. Uh-oh, come on. Now. Right, let's have a look at this. I think we should... Hmm, what's the best level? I think... I don't care if it pokes out a little bit, but we'll put it there. Oh, no, we want... a miner. Now, which way do we want it to face? Do we want to come that way, or that... off that big drop there? Let, let's Let's go this way. 
Okay. Yes. So you're producing 60 a minute, so we're going to need to do the same. We're going to need to um, split now. I don't want to come out at this height, necessarily. Um, I think we can come out one further. We don't have enough concrete. Okay, I will dash to get some concrete, and then I'll come back. I have some concrete, so let's continue. Um, let's go one further. And chuck in a couple of smelters. Um, where do we want them? We'll give ourselves a little bit of room here. We'll go back, let's say... Oh, come on. To there. And we'll put this, this one in the same position. Like so. Now, we want... How much is this producing? This will be producing 60, and these um, require 30 each. So, yes, I was right. Excellent. You see, I have efficiency on the brain now. Okay, we want ourselves a splitter. We want our input... Uh, are you going to show us... Come on. Is that in line? It's not telling me that it's in line. I can't see the... It's not going to be in line, is it? All right, we'll put it there. And we'll hope that this will connect. It does. Okay, good. It's not going to be pretty. Or even vaguely symmetrical, but that's fine. He says, just looking how ugly it is. Okay, it's it's pretty bad. But that's that's where the miner went, so that's kind of what we're stuck with. Right. Now I'm going to build another power pole up here. And I'm going to start connecting things. So connect these two up here. And to you. Connect you to you. Connect you to you. To you. To you. And whoops. To you. And to you. Okay, now. In theory, that should start the production up here. And I'm going to have to do something about the length of time it takes me to get up here. Oh, especially this bit. I'm going to ramp in there or something. Speaking of ramps, I'm going to need one down here as well. Okay, everything is producing. Right. We will leave it there. Next episode, we will put in our... Um, oops, fall off there. Uh, we'll put in our constructors. Um, to turn all of this into usable stuff. Uh, so we'll need wires and um, cables. So presumably one of these will just produce wires. One of them will produce wires that will then feel, feed into another uh, constructor to turn those into cables. And then we can store the wire from here and the cables separately. That seems sensible, doesn't it? Well, let me know in the comments. Um, don't don't let me know about efficiency and things like that because at the moment, yeah, it doesn't matter. We're just trying to get some resources in. There's a cave down there. Did I have a look in that cave before? I don't think I did. Um, yeah, we're just trying to get the resources in so we've got a fair stock of them and then we can think about upgrading. Um, obviously, I need to think about where I'm going to put in a factory. Um, and I think probably where that big blubbery tick thing is wandering is going to be our prime spot. Um, because it's relatively flat, relatively clear of debris. Um, 
and re relatively large. So, yeah, this, this area here I think will be perfect for our first factory. What? What do you want? You disgust me. Ugh, look at you. Ugh. I think I have my torch on anyway. Um, yes, so we will leave it there for this episode. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, please do check out the other videos on the channel. If you enjoyed the episode, hit the like button. If you would like to see more, please consider subscribing. Uh, until next time, I'm John. This has been Satisfactory. Please take care of yourselves, stay safe, and bye-bye. <laughs>